Guess what it's time for? Dawn of Destiny. Now grind! 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 <laughs> Alright, we better uh, mute that real quick. Sorry, yeah, this video took... This video took a lot longer than I thought it would to queue up. But yeah, with that, we're going to start... Whew! Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of Destiny here real quick. My gosh, dude! Like, the funny thing is like... Okay, I'm just actually going to show you guys real quick here. So on YouTube... I thought like someone would have already had something similar to this and in case you didn't know you know what what you know what did flood just do what was that from you know who's that guy blah 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 well that's um yeah this is his wiki page uh from uh i think a fandom of bleach and that's the anime that's the guy there in a later stage of the fight but see i didn't want to spoil things for you guys i just wanted the voice clip now grind grind Grind, and it actually it even says on the wiki. I'll read the first few lines, not all of it, because uh, I don't want to waste time on on the episode. Uh, grind. He's referring to grinding one's teeth to release his zanpakuto. He holds it up like the start of a low sweep stroke with his right hand, which you guys just saw in the clip. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna read anymore. Uh, you guys can check that out for yourself. Uh, Bleach is a pretty awesome anime. That came out around, uh, when was that? 2005 ish? Maybe 2006? With the first episode in English? I don't know, but um, both versions are pretty good. Um, I, I actually liked, uh, now, most of the time, you know, there's some form of censor censorship between the Japanese subs and the English dubs. Um, at points, the Japanese voice actors seem better, like the moments, you know, of the fight seem more intense. But at other times, the English voice voice actors like right there, that that part where he says grinds. Now I looked this clip up, you know, for this video. Um, let's see, but it was not anywhere on YouTube. Like, um, no. Let me just do a search tab real quick, of so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, this is gonna be a bonus episode, so it doesn't really matter how long this intro is, but it looks like the intro is going to be about five or so minutes, so, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that'll, that'll go, you know, a little bit viral <laughs> with that clip, it's just like, now grind, 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 <laughs> I mean, so many Let's Players grind, I'm surprised like no one's, I guess I'm the only fan of Bleach who's, no, no, surely, I guarantee you there's a lot of people who have Let's Played, uh, Memories to nobody, you know, and have had the grain. Uh, but anyway, let me just show you guys how hard this was. Yeah, here's my search already in there. Yeah, because see, this is what I put in for the search. Bleach. Yeah, you can see it in the search bar there. Bleach. Uh, Shinigami Diaries. Because there's actually a... Now, I couldn't find this clip because it occurs, I think, like, whew, maybe episode 166 or so. Uh, and the, now, the Shinigami Diaries, that's on the Japanese subs, so... Uh, we didn't really get the English version of that, but anyway. Uh, well, we sort of did at some point. But anyway, um, yeah, in one of the Shinigami Diaries, like, <laughs> uh, when Grimjaw finally, finally, and man, they they restricted his, you know, uh, sword release so long, and I, and I kind of like that they did, actually. <laughs> but, um, they, and yeah, in one of the Shinigami Diaries, like, uh, freaking Aizen is sitting there watching Grimjell like on a monitor or something. He's just like, "Oh, how do we know how to stop Grimjell?" Like the three or four times, you know, he attempts to use his sword release, and Aizen's just sitting there looking at all the monitors, just like, "Ukliora, I'm sending you to the world of the living." <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know. It just kind of cuts out from there. It's it's sort of Shinigami Diaries. is basically a joke you know, uh, slash, you know, update of the series, anyway, anyway, but yeah, um, now, you see, like, the s results that came out, uh, yeah, now, it says Pantera, but that's in the Japanese subs, and I didn't want the Japanese subs for this, um, you know, uh, s uh, clip, because, you know, most of my viewers, you know, I speak in English, most of my viewers probably speak English, uh, yeah, and, and but not only that, I actually like, the way Grimjaw says it first here in this fight with Shinji. Now, that fight came up uh, from Forevermore. He's a very cool YouTuber. 
you can check out that full fight if you want. He has it right there on, on YouTube. Uh, I don't sponsor him or anything. Hashtag not sponsored. But yeah, that's in uh, Japanese subs as well, um, which is cool and all. But um, yeah, once again, I prefer the voice clip in English at the end of the fight. But then when he finally, finally, finally at last gets to release his sword, I actually prefer the Japanese uh, subs for that clip, just because, like I said, the moment's more emotional and intense. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Guys, that's gonna do it for the, um, start of this video, so now we're gonna play my intro. Uh, so this Dawn of Destiny episode looks like it'll be about, Jesus, maybe about ten minutes in, but it doesn't matter, it's a bonus episode, so, hey. Anyway, uh, we're just getting ready to grind. I actually have a fidget spinner here. Now grind! 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 Pantera! Oops, spoilers, spoilers, spoiler warning. <laughs> That's funny, like, do you guys ever realize, like, a fidget spinner? Let's see if I can get this going real good. Hang on. There we go. You ever realize it looks like buffering, buffering, grinding in progress, grinding in progress, a legendary ocean, Mako Tsunami will not give it up, a legendary ocean. Grinding, processing, processing, grinding, still grinding. <laughs> 10,000 years later. Yeah, and that's my intro. I, I really should have been playing this in like every commentated episode, but I recently, you know, thought of that fact and, uh. Woof! Why that little part there is out of tune. But, uh, anyway. There we go, and yeah, that was the intro, so now, let's do it. It's time for Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny, and there we go, whew, man. So I'm going to walk you guys into the front room, and I will see you guys there. Ah, ooh, do I want a biscuit? Nah, I'm good. Want a biscuit? You want to have a biscuit? Here's a biscuit! <laughs> Oh man, yeah, we're gonna start throwing those biscuits at uh, Bones in Nightmare Troubadour. <laughs> Once we do them from now on. I actually recently bought um, like a seven pack or so of biscuits. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be fun. Anyway, let's turn on the volume now. There we go. All right. And yeah, just so you guys know how long it took me to find, you know, all that, all those, that clip in English, man, like, my Xbox controller, look, it was actually, yeah, it actually turned off, and my game, you know, went to dark, so that's, that's surprising, okay, now I have to check the setup here for you guys, so one sec, I know, I know, you know what, actually, let's get into a duel real quick, let's get into a duel real quick. Just because you guys can watch me set up in the middle of this uh, episode. Because this is just a bonus episode. Let's get some dueling going. Alright, so let's load Flood Mod 14. Uh, what's that at the bottom? The X stand for 1202629. I don't know. Uh, if you guys know... Oh! Maybe that's like the total number of cards you have? I don't know. That's pretty cool. Uh, today we're going to pick the Slifer statue for Mako. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I just feel like, I don't know, maybe the FAQ I looked up was wrong, and you can't get a Legendary Ocean in an Obelisk or Raw. Maybe it's in the Slifer statue, and the guy just happened to put it in the wrong column. It's the easiest thing, mistake to make, you know, when you're doing something like that. So, we're going to pick the Slifer statue. Oh, and as you guys see, uh, yeah, in between episodes, I think I commentated this, but we recently won that trap card right there to the second to the left uh yeah we won this uh so i can show this off tornado wall yeah so as long as zoomies out you take no damage so basically once you get this there's not even a need to set any monsters we can just end our turn we're not going to take any damage so let's see let me start the hd recapture device there we go no so when you attack, Mako, I'll play my trap. Tornado Wall! Hostile! 
And I am so thirsty, guys. Let me open this drink real quick. Ugh, there we go. Mmm. Mm-mm. Let the memes begin. I just opened a cherry coke. Alright, so now he didn't set a torrential tribute, so that's the main reason I didn't play any monsters. I was just like, let's see if he, you know, in his opening hand, you know, sets like three traps. Because if he would have, I wouldn't have even bothered to summon, really. Alright. Grind! Pantera! Yeah, now he set up monsters, so. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and bring out. We're not gonna take any damage, so we'll bring out Samian right away. So. Oh gosh. Whew. Yeah, that took a while. Oh. Special summon monster. Yes, Samian. And I'm actually a little. Um, Thanks to all the grinding, you know, we've grinded this far, but thanks to all of the grinding, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a little, believe it or not, the, the uh, sound of the dual music versus Mako is actually starting to, like, put me on edge. Um, starting to piss me off. No, I'm just kidding. Not really, but actually it is a little bit. So we're going to play, this is uh, Carefree, I'll just show you guys this bonus episode. Yeah, this is Carefree After School, and it's a theme in one of my, uh, now I didn't actually make that video, but it's in my, my playlist if you want to check it out. It's one of my favorite themes, Carefree After School. I play that all the time when I go on lunch break at work. People are just like, man, what is that, dude? That's so fly. You know, because I, uh, yeah, because everybody can hear it. I'm just like, well, it's, um, it's a theme from a... A cartoon show. They're like, that's from a cartoon show? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. And I'm just like, yeah, I just used to watch it as a kid. I don't really talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! to people at work. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get the angle good for you guys. Uh, I think that's good enough. Uh, it's actually not great at all. Oh, that's why. It's because I have the bucket and it's too far back. But that's okay. I'm, uh, we'll adjust it during the... Um, Okay, so he's got Tornado Wall too. Big surprise. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's funny. The AI still attacks. It, like, auto-attacks, even though you have Tornado Wall out. That's interesting. This is my probably first or second time playing Tornado Wall, so... Mm. <sighs> that Cherry Coke is good. Yeah, uh, I got that as I was walking home from work today. And, um... We'll just end our turn. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to play my Torrential Tribute, so there's really no need to summon any or set any monsters at all. Like, now if I did have a Legendary Ocean, right now instead of that version of Umi, what I would do is play a, a, the Legendary Fisherman. Because uh, apparently there's a glitch in this game, because it happened in one of my duels with Mako to where he had a Legendary Fisherman face up, right, with Umi. And then a Legendary Fisherman wasn't destroyed. It's supposed to be not affected by spells, but... Uh, he played a trap and it wasn't destroyed, like, maybe that's a glitch, but, ooh, nice, we got Marie the following, so, we're gonna try to keep seven cards in our hand next turn and pitch that to the graveyard, that way we can start, um, gaining life points, so, yeah. And sorry if you guys don't like the change of music, but, I, I need it, I need it, <laughs> I need it so bad, man, because just hearing, hearing the theme versus Mako, it's... Don't get me wrong, I love this game and I love the music, it's just at this point we've grinded so much, grinded, grinded, and grinded, grinded so, so much, man, like, we've basically got this many cards worth of, like, <laughs> yeah, man, it's just, it's, it's time to, you know, mix things up a bit, you know, because if you don't, you can go... Go to a place you don't want to. Flying fish? Okay. I'm pretty sure I can kill that with anything I've got, so... Not worried about that, bro. Uh, this theme is called Hidden Feelings. Uh, it's about to play right now, so... Uh, ew, now I, so now we got a nice, really good re life restoring combo going. Uh, we'll go ahead and play Cyber Jar. Yeah, we haven't drawn, like, a good four-star monster in a while. Who's Team Four Star? <laughs> Just kidding. 
But like giant red sea snake or seven color fish should be among our next five draws. So that's why I'm gonna play Cyberpot. And even if we don't get any monsters, we're good because we have tornado walls. So uh, I do love the sound effect for Cyber Jar though. So let me unmute the TV so we can all hear the sound effect. Here we go, sound effect time. Nope. Pow. Pow. <laughs> Oh, so he's got Torrential, so we're not going to be summoning any more monsters. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to try to tribute a monster if we get one for Legendary Fisherman and see it, see if that glitch applies to me or just the AI, because that's... Ooh, Magician of Faith, okay. Yeah, because that's an interesting... Oh, so I got Bottom Dweller and he got Bottom... So yeah, that's an interesting thing to test out. Mm. At the same time, I kind of want to use Magician of Faith, but I don't think anything uh, good is in the graveyard as far as magic cards go. No, there's not. So no point in you know being sad that we're going to lose her effect. Let's tribute her for Legendary Fisherman and see if this glitch applies. So yes, he's going to turn show. We knew that. He had it in his hand. Now, is Legendary Fisherman going to die? Or... Dude... I just found a glitch! I just found a glitch in the game, bro! Oh yeah, I forgot to play Solid Wishes during his turn. Uh, dude, I just found a glitch! Look at this! When Umi is faced up on the field... Ooh, you can't see because of the glare. There we go. This card is unaffected by any spell cards. It doesn't say spells and traps, it says spell cards, so... Guys, we just found, like... And out of any glitch that could possibly be in this game, that's probably my most favorite one for the for the main reason that, hey, it happens to be an ocean-based card. Uh, it's a water slash, you know, sea serpent uh, support card. So that's pretty awesome that we found that glitch. Um, I did not know that. So now you guys know, if you have Umi out, like I do in most of my games, now you guys know... Now you guys know that um, because of that glitch in this game, I don't. Even, that is so cool that I got that on recording, um, because I mean, I don't know if anyone else ever has. Um, but now you guys know, hey, there's a glitch in this game, and you can exploit it pretty well. So while Umi's out, Legendary Fisherman is unaffected by spells and traps, um, and can't be attacked. So because of that, I'm gonna try to attack. I don't think he'll still take damage though. Yeah, even though he's unaffected by spells and traps, I mean, this trap affects, it's sort of a weird ruling in that it triggers on the unconditional, like, it affects damage. Yeah, not who's doing the damage, but rather it triggers against the damage itself, if that makes any sense. Uh, so yeah, let's end our turn. Oh, I need to get some music back going. Sorry about that. I just muted, like, out of while I was explaining. Well, that's good, actually. That way you guys can understand my explanation maybe a little better. I should do that more often, probably. But uh, for the most part, my voice seems to... My voice! Your voice changed! That's impossible! But no, my voice seems to come through pretty clearly, which is good. Okay, now that we've gotten a legendary ocean, what we want to do is actually set it, thereby destroying Umi, and all the tornado walls on the field. There we go. So I am kind of glad I put both versions in now that this situation is kind of up. And yes, now we'll play a regular legendary ocean. And this is another torrential, I'm assuming. Um, so let's just summon Penguin Soldier in attack mode. Just to trigger that torrential tribute. Yeah, that way his monster's destroyed. And oh, this theme is called Trap. Huh, interesting. It sounds pretty catchy. So yeah, with that we can enter the battle phase and harpoon. Go harpoon! Shh, shh, toss! <laughs> like, uh, I'm not sure what his actual attack name is. Anyway, I'm gonna get some more of my drink and we're just gonna sit here and enjoy this music and yeah. Yeah, see this I can dig. Oh. Cool. Yeah, once again, sorry if you don't like the change of music, but hey, this is a bonus episode. Feel free to skip it. Mmm. 
Mm. <sighs> yeah. Hashtag not sponsored. All right, now we got white magical hats. So see, this is good. This is good. That way we can start destroying cards in his hand as well. And you know what? Just in case anything crazy happens, let's combo white magical hat with United We Stand. Now keep in mind that since I put a legendary ocean out, all his uh, like five star water monsters can now be set. So this might have more than two thousand. Yeah, it does. Bottom dweller. So good move on his part. Not much I can do about it. Now you might say, oh, why didn't you play Rush Rush Recklessly? Well, yeah, he's unaffected by any spells and traps uh, due to the glitch in this game. Not not just your opponents. That includes your own. So that's unfortunate, but yeah. White Cleansing. I'm not sure what attack name to give White Magical Hat. It looks like he's using like Holy Light. That's that's the attack name. Holy Light. -o. Yeah, it looks like uh, Mystical L's Holy Light that she uses in. Wow, this theme is really loud. Sorry about that, guys. But it's really intense. I actually like it. Wow. <laughs> And I hope this video isn't muted on YouTube because sometimes they will mute it if you include uh, music content that's copyrighted. I don't think this is though. That's the nice thing about uh, excuse me. That's the nice thing about using the OST is that it's not copyrighted. I don't think. Well, I mean, yeah, if it was copyrighted, like. These guys wouldn't be able to post their videos, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So what am I worried about? Well, I have right to be worried. <laughs> really, if you post anything related to Yu-Gi-Oh! Video, music, anything, it, it almost seems like it almost always gets taken down. Anyway, we're about to win, so let's put the volume back up. That way you guys can hear the haul, you know, <laughs> from the, uh, <laughs> from the, oh, by the way, I didn't show this before I started, but I recently cited out some cards and I put in Deep Sea Shark. It's a fusion with Tongyo and Bottom Dweller. Now, Bottom Dweller is this card, but you saw Mako uh, draw as well. Um, it's not a very good standalone card since it's a 5 star, but with a Legendary Ocean, it'll have 1850. That's respectable, 1900 defense. Uh, Tongyo is just a normal vanilla monster as well, and it has 1350. Uh, but if you fuse them, the reason I like fusion, and you should too, is that it counts as a special summon. Sometimes you need to do that, so... And really, with this setup, like that we got, um... A funny thing is, is all we need to do is draw Call of the Haunted, have Sandgan be destroyed, and then you can search for Tongyo, and boom, there you go, you got your fusion. So, that's another reason I like, uh, small-time fusions like this. Um... Now, we don't have the best one yet in the game, but I think I will put that in my deck. Uh, the best one in this game is probably Tainted Wisdom, which has 1350, searchable by Sandman, and the Ancient Brain, which has a thousand attack, also searchable by Sandman, and that uh, fuses into Skull Knight, 2650 Spellcaster Dark type. That's awesome. That's the ultimate fusion we want in every deck, um, because it's just so easy to search, it's so easy to combo. Um, but yeah, for now, we have this water-based deck, and might as well include Deep Sea Shark, so I can show you guys every once in a while. Besides, I also like the, uh, the AI's re reaction, because they have different reactions, and someone will say, what? A fusion? And someone will just be like, hmm, a fusion, how interesting, you know. Uh, anyway, this will, f uh, finish off the stairs, okay? So you guys are about to hear that awesome, oh, oh, grind! 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 Pantera! Oh man, how cool would it be if we got a legendary ocean here? I don't think we will. Um, but yeah. Would be cool, but we're not gonna get it, are we? We're gonna put Slifer, like I said. Uh, nope. <laughs> well, we got Tornado Hole, though. That makes, I think, three or four copies of that. Uh, sure, let's save real quick. N done a lot. Um,. Well, actually, I haven't done a lot in the game itself, now that I think about it. But this video is about 25 minutes due to that long, like, 10 or 4 minutes intro. Brains! Oh, wait, where's my biscuit so I can throw it at him? You want a biscuit, Bones? You want a biscuit? Have a biscuit! <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, that's gonna be so fun to do. I'm gonna start doing that reference here in Dawn of Destiny too. So because of that, I'm gonna wait till the episode I'm referencing is actually posted on YouTube. <laughs> and then we're gonna wait to Duel Bones a couple of times and throw some biscuits at the screen. <laughs> Alright, now sorry about the glare, guys, but there is quite a, a still quite a lot of glare on the screen, so I'm going to finish scooting you guys closer, and maybe I should turn off my light now. That's probably the cause of the glare, but not all of the cause, because, oh, wait, there the glare goes. Oh, wow, so I only get the glare because it's basically being stared directly. Wait, wait, man, my cell phone's barely tilted here, but if I do that and that... Yeah, no glare, huh? So I can record with the light on. Huh. Wow, I didn't think I could do that in this game. Okay, well that's... Yeah. That's... Good. Alright. So we got a uh, tornado wall. So in this next duel... Yeah, I said we're gonna pick Slifer all day today. And eh, let's pick the raw statue. Maybe the guy's right, maybe it's not. At this point... What I'm, what I'm doing the most is I'm um, playing on one of my other save files, and I'm picking basically all different kinds of statues. I'm even trying the triple duels, and I've actually got some interesting cards out of that. And yeah, maybe I'll show you guys in another bonus episode or something. But uh, yeah, he's got a face down. It's probably Torrential Tributes. So, uh, and even if it's not, let's say it's Tornado Wall, I think Mystic Tomato is still a good set here. That's all the wishes, yeah. So, uh, what to talk about now? Well, I could talk about the fact of uh, Nightmare Troubadour. Yeah, that's another Let's Play I'm doing. And uh, recently, uh, we got into the most exciting part of that game. Uh, well, the start. Let me put it that way. The start of the most exciting parts of that game. And that is the Shadow Games. Yeah, man. That's... Oh, man. You don't know... Guys don't know how long I've been waiting to run into a uh, Shadow Duels. But, um... I think I'll be able to spoil it because I'm going to definitely post that episode first of Nightmare Troubadour. But yeah, we ran into Docs. Um, now, if you guys don't know how Shadow Games work, in that duel, basically at night, whenever you're, you know, moving around on the map, uh, because it has that, like, day and night, so whenever you're, like, moving around, like, hitting up the map, um, you have a chance of running into a Shadow Duel. Not always guaranteed, as you guys see, because, like, I think we dueled for... Now, this is probably just Flying Fish, right? Yeah, called it. I knew it was because he didn't summon it in attack mode, so... Yeah, we got that out of the way. So, even if this is just Tornado Wall, we killed that, so... I'm not too much worried about it. Anyway. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I think for two episodes, or three episodes there, you know, after Yami Yugi's warning and everything, um, we... We... We didn't run into a shadow duel, so I was getting started to get a little worried, but uh, yeah, we finally did, and it feels good because that's one of the fun, more fun parts of the game. Now, in that game, if you lose a shadow duel, you do get a game over, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's kind of exciting too. Oh, I should have played Magic Jammer so I could throw Marie. Well, no, I like to save Magic Jammer for Raigeki against this guy pretty much every time. Um, would have been a good play there though, because it turns out his face down was Tornado Wall. I just thought his face down was probably Torrential Tribute. That's always the safe assumption. Always assume it's the worst thing in the world. Uh, so yeah, I probably definitely should have played Magic Jammer there. Would have made this duel a lot, you know, quicker as far as time. But uh, hopefully, off of Cyberjar, we'll get uh, Harpy's No Hanaboshi. So. Anyway, let me mute the music again. Let's see, mute the music. Well, no, let's hear Cyber Jar's effect, then we'll mute the music. Boulder Tortoise. As long as you don't get right Geki, I think I'm not worried. Okay. No right Geki. Alright, that's so all I could have asked for. Bingham Soldier. Eh, I actually don't like to get that off of Cyber Jar, but eh, oh well, not much I can do about it. Um, White Magical Hat, huh? Eh, that was probably not the best, uh, smart, and he attacked White Magical Hat first. Oh, and if you would attack Penguin Soldier first, I would have been cool with that. Oh well. Yeah, so we definitely should have used Magic Jammer, especially since we drew a second one. Uh, but I didn't know if we were going to draw a second one, or if, 
we would draw, I was hoping we'd draw Harvey's Feather Duster, but luckily we did draw our version of Umi, so I think with that we should be able to destroy his Tornado Wall. Let's see, oh, right, right, let me flip it face up. Now, is it, this going to destroy Tornado Wall? I don't know. Mm, yes, it is. Wow, so even if he has his Umi on, see, even though it's the same card, because of the activation of a new of a new field card destroys a, the other one, it still counts Umi as being destroyed and thereby destroys Tornado Wall, even though this is still treated as Umi and would work with this. Um, because the destruction is triggered, the destruction itself is triggered, uh, you can, you know, if you're running a water deck like me, you can, you know, destroy his combo with, um, that, so, just so you guys know, good information to know. Uh, let's go ahead and set this other magic jammer down, and I will keep, um, the six cards I got. Oh yeah, I also got this during the grinding, I think I explained it in a, um, commentated episode, bonus episode, but anyway, let's mute the TV now. Whew, I need a drink. Ah, oh, man, I feel so much better. Mmm. Ah. Oh. Sometimes the silence is good too when I'm dueling. Like doing all this grinding because it, it, it you know, it stops me from having such a big, big, like, headache. You know what I mean? <sighs> Grind, Pantera. So we should be able to do some nice damage here. Oh, that's nice. Listen to that. No sound at all. Just the beautiful sight of Mako taking damage. <sighs> ah. Alright. So we can move on to the, I'm going to look up another theme on YouTube here. And this will be the theme, uh, ooh, no, we don't want to play that. Cause that, that probably is copyrighted. Voice by Cloud, that probably is copyrighted. Definitely don't want to play that. This will be uh, a theme from Season 2, and it's called The Road to Victory. Uh, interesting. Uh, what'd you do, Mako? Oh, just set a face down? I think we win here, right? Did we win? Is winning happening? I think it is. So let's turn the volume on real quick. Huh, that's funny, and I just muted it. Let me keep the remote here by the... Yeah, the remote's going to be right here. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> Almost. Uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't have put the remote up here. Yeah, I just threw off the balance. I threw off the chi, man. I threw off the, the angle of the camera and everything. Okay. Uh, let me push the unmute button. There we go. Ooh. Oh, and that threw off the angle again. Yeah, I'm definitely going to... Crap. Okay, note to self, do not include the remote up here during this setup, because that was bad. Ugh. Uh, that's not nearly as... Gosh. Did I really just take ten more minutes? Of, you know what? Fine. We're just going to finish Mako off. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is going to finish him off, right? 2,000? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, I'll, I, what? Oh, never mind. We're not gonna fish him off. His face down was tornado wall. You, gosh. All right, Mako. You know what? Let's play Call of the Haunted. Uh, yep. Yeah. Revive Samian, Sacrifice for Legendary Fisherman. That way I don't have to worry about Torrential Tribute the rest of the duel on Legendary Fisherman. Or anything else, really. Alright. So hopefully he'll play his field card. And then, yeah. The triggering should still happen. Oh, uh, let's take Tomio, actually. Hopes we get our fusion. Sorry if you guys didn't, couldn't see. Yeah, it is a, a, a lot glary now. Uh, so... All right, let's take put the mute back off because this duel is gonna be a while, and let's put this music. Oh, whoops! Add from YouTube. Add from YouTube. Mute. Mute. Okay, there we go. I was able to skip it. <laughs> okay. All right. Now this was the angle I had it at before. So what changed? I don't think anything. Oh, I. Oh, that's what changed the storage cube I'm using. Yeah, I accidentally pushed it up too far. This is that. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got nice. We got Mystic Space Falcon. So I'm actually gonna destroy 
I'm probably just gonna destroy Umi. Um, even though, like, <laughs> theoretically I shouldn't, you know, I should probably keep Umi at all times on my field, but eh. Umi benefits his monsters as well, so yeah. This Mystic Typhoon, because he has Umi in his hand too, we saw him draw it, so this isn't really like a stupid move or like a game altering move, so. Uh, now he put a face down, it's probably weak. Well, no, 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 no. The strongest defense he usually has is about 1500, or that's the highest I've seen, okay. Yeah, just a white dolphin, just a white dolphin. Alright. So that we should finish him off here, so let me... And that thing is called Fun Friends. So, that's cool. Let me put the volume on real quick as we finish making him. That way you guys can hear the awesome... Aww. Aww, and we almost could have had exactly zero. You get a bonus for that in Dawn. And uh, <laughs> I almost said Dawn of Troubadour. <laughs> yeah, because that's a thing. Oh, man, I, I unmuted like at the wrong time. Oh, well. Aww. There you go. Alright, we'll pick the raw statue, like the FAQ says, but I don't think we're going to get a Legendary Ocean. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to start picking Slifer and um, just Slifer and Obelisk for the next few grinding. Um, I think I might just end this episode off here, even though it's like right in the middle of a thing. Um, because what I'm going to do is go to my, of course, HD capture device and start grinding. Grind, grind, grind! Yeah, some more here against Mako, grinding single duels. Uh, so, yeah. I'm not looking forward to it, but we will persevere, and we will strive to succeed. So, am I gonna end it here? No, you know what, fine. I'll keep you guys with me. If the video cuts out, it cuts out. But it probably will cut out, so. But if it does, I don't really mind, so. Tornado wall combo. And now this is an interesting thing that we got here. So we both got the tornado wall combo, but what if, what if we play all of these cards face down, as well as play chain energy? Now I don't have any monsters, so this is pretty interesting uh, gamble here. But yeah, maybe chain energy will just burn them out. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I lied. I like the music, okay? <laughs> Alright, the AI, AI is still instinctively attacking, even though it's not gonna... What? Oh, that's right, I forgot to play Tornado Wall. <laughs> My bad. Mm. There we go, Tornado Wall. So we took 2,000 damage for no good reason. That might affect the outcome of the duel, actually. Considering I have chain energy out. So that... Yeah, if we lose, that was... Definitely all my fault. Okay, so we've got seven colored fish. Ooh, Megamorph. <laughs> Psych Mako, I actually took that damage on purpose, you fool. Roll. Saichin Soul, Revolve Force. So, he doesn't take damage thanks to his turning in the wall, but thankfully, I have a face down, Mako. Mystical Space Typhoon will destroy your tornado wall, jerk. <laughs> now, this will do how much damage? This will do 1800. So yes, we'll still be lower on points until he plays a card from his hand. Uh, thanks to Chain Energy, so. There you go. But we're not taking any damage right now, so. Advantage. Oops, sorry about that. I did not think that was gonna come up next. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Be quiet, damn. Okay, there we go. So, yes, he destroyed our combo, but it doesn't matter now. Let's see, fish is at 2,000, so I could set Bottom Dweller, but it's just going to get destroyed. So let's keep that, and I think I'll play Torrential Tribute after he normal summons, So, which he should, since I'm wide open. He should normal, oh, face down. Maybe I won't. Ooh, so he's unaffected by spells. 
And I think I still want to do this, though. Yeah, turn to tribute. Okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah, and I think I want to set bottom dweller. Yeah. Although I don't know what his face down is, so... And maybe I should keep bottom dweller. Yeah, because I don't really have a way of getting it back, like reviving it. Oh, and, and we got the fusion combo. So all we need is polymerization. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to set bottom dweller now. I thought about it, but, you know, just in case he plays his Umi card and destroys my tornado wall. But now I'm definitely not going to... Yeah, not even gonna bother with, um, yeah. <clears throat> Another thing I've learned while grinding against Mako is like, that face down might be Torrential Tribute, but he won't play it if you don't have any monsters. But if you have at least one, he'll always like, it's like autoplay <laughs> for him. So I think it is autoplay for most AIs too. As far as um, triggering torrential tribute, because a lot of them will trigger it when uh, whenever you as the player flips something, which is really stupid, uh, honestly. You never like of all the summons in the game, that's probably the worst one to trigger torrential tribute on is a flip. Although, yeah, maybe your opponent could really buff you out with that. You know, just flip someone a monster, just like. Oh, I'm not going to play my Torrential Tribute. Okay, well, I just attack you with this one monster that I flip summon. So, yeah, he's slowly killing himself with, um, makes a chain energy. Now, like I said, once again, if he plays his Umi card and somehow destroys the Tornado Wall combo, we will get hit pretty hard here, so. And he has Amphibian Beast out. Golly. So, I think I might want to, yeah, because we're not drawing Polymerization Fusion, so. Yeah, I might want to just set this giant... Ooh, never mind, I have this. You know, let's summon this, because I have Axe of Despair. So, let's see if it is... It is. Good. Good. So, I'll get rid of two of his cards. And Amphibian Beast is, like, his strongest card. So, I was mostly worried about that, above everything else. Not really worried about Fisherman. More worried about... <coughs> excuse me, Beast. I'm a monster. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a monster. What's up? I'm a monster. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a beast, beast. <laughs> oh man, I love that song. It's such an old one, but pretty cool. All right, now remember, uh, since oh never mind, I was about to say we could attack him directly, since uh, legendary fisherman's effect. But never mind, tribute it. That was actually smart. Um, let's play bottom dweller, and let's play blood axe, axe of despair. Watch it go! Blood the axe! <laughs> now flood them with despair! Tenzan Suigetsu. I just totally made that up out of nowhere. <laughs> now, I don't think that would be my sword release. If I was a bleached character, I think my, my sword would release would be like. Uh, it, yeah, the regular Shikai would be something like. Flood them with the spear and end all hope. Sweet gets. There we go. <laughs> it's like a reference. It's like a combination of nice. So we got polymerization. Well, a little late now because since I played uh, Blood Axe on him, I don't want to fuse. So we could fuse here just to see Mako's reaction. And he'd be like, oh no, a fusion, what? But ultimately we win because this is definitely going to take out that card. And this is definitely going to KO his life point. So we'll do this and we'll pick the... I guess we'll pick the Sly Fur Statue? I don't know. Because that gave us good cards this time, so. Yeah, let's again. Maybe I said, like I said, maybe the FAQ is wrong and it's just off by one statue. And it's not actually in the Raw or Obelisk. It's like in Slifer. You can get this card from Slifer somehow. After 90 duels of grinding. Gosh, man, code. I'm getting a little salty playing you, bro. Just saying. Uh, oh, well, we got two seven colored fish, which that's actually pretty good. Even though we don't need them, <laughs> go ahead. We don't need you. But yeah, we're gonna save, and we're almost at forty-five minutes. So once we get right at the forty-five minute mark, that's usually where I cut it off. I'm gonna end the episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching and everything, and I'm gonna stop my HD capture device too, and I'll see you guys next time.
So let's stop the capture device. There we go. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the grinding. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Yu Gi Oh! Dawn of Destiny in 3D! <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was just messing with you guys. Wow, what morph age did I end up drawing? Pride, ooh. Ooh, that's a bad omen. I should not be as prideful. I need to be more humble. That's what this means.